Hey loves, Carla Nicole. Hope everybody's doing wonderful today. Um, you know, this is not my season. As you see, I am bundled up. But at the end of the day, you know, we have various different seasons we gotta cope with, whether we want to or not. So, um, just got a question for the ladies today. Um, uh, so, as y'all know, I'm a, a, I'm a wisdom coach, okay? So, I'm Carla Nicole. I'm a single mother of two children, but I'm a wisdom coach, right? And uh, for those of you that don't know, um, a lot of what I do is encourage people about having better loving in their life, having better relations in their life, having a more uh, beautified and... and uh, awesome sex life um, and so with that being said because of my um, constantly talking about sex health sex education sex enhancement and how to improve your sex hey Trevor it is cold babe it's cold yes it's 25 degrees and I'm not happy but it's okay we are gonna get through this right so, um, with this weather being chilly and all, you know, um, it, 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 it has its benefits and its detriments depending upon your own personal um, relationship status. Or should I say uh, your uh, relationship status or even your um, sexual agreement that you have going on here, all right? Hey Wayne, so I want to holler at the ladies real quick. Gentlemen, you're free to chime in. But um, I, because I do wisdom coaching and I have gentlemen as my primary clients most of the time, I have some insight that I need to put y'all ladies up on game about. Now, first I'm going to start with wives and then I'm going to start with significant others, which are women that are not married but they have a significant man in their life. Okay? So, let's start with wives. Wives, I need to give y'all a heads up, okay? It is winter, it is cold, and it is freezing out here. And there are a lot of husbands in my inbox telling me that they are sexually frustrated. I'm going to say it again. Ladies, wives, this is specifically for you. There are many husbands in my inbox saying they are sexually frustrated. I want to holler at y'all ladies for a minute. When you went down the aisle and you got married and you made vows and you promised to be faithful and, and, and be with your husband and all of these things, there was a part of you that your husband desired to have with you when he went down the aisle, okay? And the number one thing your husband desires from you is your intimacy, your sexual space, your sex with each other. Um, and I think that I need to put y'all ladies up on game that I believe that spouses, ladies, wives, when you are going down the aisle, your image in your mind of what you see marriage as versus what your husband sees marriage as is two totally different things nine times out of ten. I'm going to tell you why, okay? A lot of times, wives, we understand that we have gone a whole different, to a whole different march. We done got this man excited about being with us, committed, uh, being with us full time. Uh, and only with us and all this, right? So we have this excitement about getting married, right? And I'm going to also add that after you get married and you have the excitement and all of that, that's wonderful and beautiful. However, once you get married and children come into play, scheduling with 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 relationships change and 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 maybe things aren't clicking communication starts to not be as frequent ladies wives i'm sorry wives please hear me 
It is vitally important that you check in with your husband and see if he is being sexually gratified. Notice I didn't say satisfied. I said gratified. Is your husband being gratified sexually? You Now, when you went down the aisle with your husband, and nine times out of ten, because I was a wife twice, I know what we think. We're thinking, this is our Prince Charming. This is the man that we wanted to be with. This is the man we're forever going to spend the rest of our life with. And we got him in the bag, right? However, it takes a lot. Understand, it takes a lot to maintain the marriage after the wedding is over. Why is it that I'm seeing more relationships, more marriages, failing miserably when it comes to the sex piece? I'm confused. I'm having, look, I'm having husbands tell me that the wives would rather sleep than make love. I'm understanding that husbands are telling me that the wives are saying, is all that, is this all you want me for? Is this all you want me for? So, I guess my issue is this. It is not necessary to only think that because you went down the aisle with your husband and with your spouse that nothing else matters. You've already done it. We're married. Uh, he's committed to me. I'm done. That's it. It's, it's a done deal. He's good. No. <laughs> when you go down the aisle with your husband, that means that that's just the beginning. <laughs> that does not mean that that's it. You got him and everything's great. No, that means this is where it starts getting fun. This is when it starts getting, when you need to start replenishing your marriage. You have to now start focusing on what do I need to do to keep this man so into me and so into our marriage and so into our union that he's excited to come home from work. He's excited to hear from me when I call. He's excited. I don't care if you got three kids, four kids, whatever. Yes, children come into play. Yes, work comes into play. Yes, scheduling can be an issue. However, you and your spouse need to start prioritizing intimate time with each other. Put the babies in bed at 8 o'clock or 9 o'clock or whatever and start devoting time to your husband. I should not have inboxes from husbands saying they are sexually frustrated. That's unacceptable. Absolutely, unequivocally unacceptable because your husband is devoted to you intimately. And now, wait a minute. And not only are they sexually frustrated, but the husbands are faithful. Really? <laughs> How do we get here? I'm confused. So, so listen, ladies, I need y'all to hear me. This is very important. We need to get back to how we, how we continue to encourage our husband. How do we keep it spicy? How do we keep it spontaneous? How do we make it fun? How do we do that? Are you not going back to the old you when you were single and excited, get dressed up? Now, y'all will go to the club and get dressed up and cute with your girls and stuff and try to pursue men out there when you're single. But once you get home, you know, once you get married, you don't want to straighten up. You don't want to fix up. You don't want to fix up for that man. You don't want to get into no cute lingerie. You don't want to make him priority. And then the man's in my inbox talking about I'm, I'm miserable. My wife's not available. What do you mean your wife's not available? Man, listen, I told one of my clients, listen, you, I understand, are frustrated sexually, but you need to now be creative. Do you want the marriage or not? Because men that are sitting in a sexless marriage needs to make some serious decisions, period. Number one decision a man needs to make is do I want to be in a sexless marriage, period. If that husband is not happy with a sexless marriage, you need to get busy on figuring out how to get it back. How do I replenish this? Okay. How do I replenish this? How do I improve the fact that my husband or my wife is not available sexually? There should be no reason for this. None. Absolute zero reason. Kids are going to be in your relationship if you guys are uh, producing children. So therefore, you and your husband need to sit down 
and talk to each other about what your sexual needs are today matter of fact wives if you're on here you need to be checking in honey are you are you getting it enough are you are you fulfilled during our sex am i present enough for you are you feeling happy that me and you are in this sacred space together check in ladies don't assume because you're his wife that he is happy and replenished and and you know fulfilled sexually do not assume nothing in a marriage okay because you have a commitment a marital commitment and a marital bond to state that's that you both agreed that you're going to be intimate only with each other from what i'm understanding that's what that's what we are you know in in, in a marriage right so if that's the case ladies please check in with your man see if your man is fulfilled sexually when is the last time you checked in is he he may be sexually you know fulfilled in the moment but is he getting it enough is the frequency enough check you need to check i'm telling you ladies this is vitally important if you want to understand why i'm saying this is because i'm getting husbands in my inbox sexually frustrated and i'm trying to help y'all ladies understand men sex drives are nine times out of ten more so, nine times out of ten more um heightened because men's human nature is to be more sexual <laughs> that's all and you don't want your husband to be out here thirsty and sexually frustrated because what happens is your husband ends up getting casting off this vibe that other single women that are seeking to find a man to make love to them they can pick up that vibe that ooh, he's not getting it at home i can go ahead and just have a conversation that's all i gotta do i can go over here and ask him are you good babe What's going on? How come you looking so how come you looking so sad? What's going on there? Oh, uh, my wife, you know, her and I aren't getting along. That's all it takes. All all it takes is my wife and I aren't getting along. You think women ain't out here hoping that's the case? You have to deal with his cooking, his nonsense, his cleaning and all that. All of those things you got to do. But this woman can be like, "I'll just have sex with him and send him all home." It makes it easy for her. So it's very important, wives, to please check in with your mate. Ask him, are you good, babe? Is there something we need to do? We need to, I mean, do we need like a couple days where we just are all over each other? I mean, what do you need? Because we will sacrifice shit for other stuff that ain't have nothing to do with nothing. But when it comes to your, your husband that you went down an aisle with, you're not making priority. You're not making sure he's good. You're not making sure he's fabulous. You know, when a husband is walking and, 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 and sexually satisfied and gratified with his wife, most likely women, single women or women on the prowl are like, I can't even mess with him. I already know he's getting it in with his wife all the time. And I could tell because he's not out here looking thirsty. You think that people can't pick that up? All right. Share this. Somebody, somebody's wife needs to hear this. Okay? All right. Now, for ladies that are significant, significant others, y'all don't have a, a marriage or whatever, but you have a significant man in your life. You got somebody you care about. You got somebody you love. You got somebody you, 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 you know, you have sexual relationships. Care. And, and you know you guys are all doing your thing I need you also to check in with your mate ask him are you good are you fulfilled are you gratified you don't want to be in a relationship with someone and they're not sure if you prioritize them or not it's important ladies to make sure your husband or your significant truly, truly feels like they matter in a relationship. I don't care if you've been with them for one month, two weeks, whatever. 
when you guys decided to become one or become in a relationship or in a union or you two are significant on in each other's lives it is vitally important that you check in do you have any department in our relationship that you feel slighted that you feel I'm not prioritizing and then ladies I mean look we are busy yes we have priorities and obligations we got jobs we got things we got to do yes so I'm not picking on you ladies so don't take it all personal and get all butt hurt because I'm bringing this to your attention but do understand ladies that I have a huge male following and the men come to me now see here's the thing if I was on some other shit and I was trying to be in pursuit and trying to seduce men I would be I would have no problem I'm just not on that I'm on replenishing relationships I'm about healing relationships I'm about making sure relationships get on all cylinders so they work I come understand something I come from a family with nothing but marriage okay so I'm somebody that is a huge huge person that wants to see relationships work and when you are in relationships it's vitally important that we sit back and understand, oh my God, you know, I need to make sure we care for each other. Understand something. We will turn our backs on somebody who cares about us because we want to be with a man who claims he's going to do something for us. But the one that cares, we disregard him. Like, ah, oh, he's not giving me the commitment. He's not giving me this, but he gives a damn though. He cares about you. Some of the things that I think we miss as women, I can say this because I am one. I have looked back, and I, I'm going to use this as an example. I looked back into my relationships, and I sat back in them, and I said, if I actually poured the level of care from all of my exes into a bottle, and sat back and thought, what would, what would actually the bottle look like? It wouldn't even fill a 20 ounce bottle a 20 ounce bottle of pop because I was so busy on being ear hustled I was so busy about hearing what a man was telling me rather than paying attention to what he was showing me so ladies when a husband comes home and he doesn't light up something's wrong with that pay attention gentlemen let y'all ladies know hey let's have a conversation tonight you could just open it up like how are you feeling and make it about you what can I do for you today what do you what's what's on your heart and mind we got to start plugging into our relationships we're not plugged in enough we're not taking the time to really sit down and pay attention to what it is we need truly need in our relationships we're not we're not paying attention to that so we're just going with it with whatever happens and then we are a what we we are oh I'm being you know I'm actually having a relationship, but the relationship isn't where it needs to be. But you are the person in the relationship. You and your mate are in the relationship together. So you both are common denominators in the relationship. So understand something. If you're both in the relationship, you both have a responsibility to each other to make sure each other is good on all cylinders. And I'm not just talking about sexually. I brought up sex because that's what I got in the inbox this morning but I want y'all gentlemen to get something because you know I don't want to make this all about the ladies gentlemen when's the last time you checked in and let your let your wife or let your lady know that you care and it doesn't have to be nothing major just are you paying attention to what what her needs are I'm not talking about wants because women's wants are endless I'm talking about what her needs are your wife goes to work every morning. Do you actually go out and, matter of fact, do you go out and clean the snow off her car? That's something small, right? But it's huge for a woman that has a warm, toasty car in the morning. She's loving that. Like, oh my God. Thanks, babe. I love it. You think women don't appreciate stuff like that? They love it. And I'm telling you right now, when you have the time, just start to take notice on some of the things your wife is doing that you maybe just are oblivious to paying attention to. It could be something small. She got her hair trimmed or she's doing something for the kids that you didn't know she was doing or she's doing something that's artsy that you didn't know she had or what's the last talent you know about your wife? 
we're all different. We all have something. We should be learning something new about our mate all the time. It shouldn't be that, oh, I know him and keep it moving. It should be, ooh, I learned something new about you today. I mean, we're not plugged in to our relationship, so we're just not, we're not plugged in. And, and when you're not plugged into your relationship, you're also not wanting to be intimate. Intimacy comes from having constant contact with each other. You are constantly talking, engaged, can finish each other's sentences. You care, you prioritize, you make them know that they're wanted and appreciated in your life. When's the last time you told your wife, not that you love her, she hurt, she, that's easy. When's the last time you told her, I appreciate you? I appreciate what you've done for me. Do you know how orgasmic that is? You're gonna have sex tonight. <laughs> I'm just telling you, men, you want sex like that. You're going to have it tonight if you start to pay attention and plug in and take notice of what your wife does for you. You don't want to have to end up in, in, in regret and then at the divorce court or having a U-Haul truck pull up and another man comes in your house and now he's with her and you're all a shambles. You don't want that to happen. So I'm trying to give y'all something that's very important, which is keys to staying involved. And understand something, it is easy to get in a relationship, it's harder to stay in one, okay? It's easy to get in a relationship, it's harder to stay in one. Not to mention it's easy to get in relationships, but having the longevity is not easy, okay? But we need to stop getting so in repetition. Always doing the same thing, always going the same places, always saying the same thing over and over. We need to understand that relationships takes work, but it should be fun. You know, a lot of people sit back and they're like, oh, it takes so much work to me. I don't want a relationship take so much work. No, the work should be fun. You don't think it's fun to learn something about your mate, learn something new you didn't know, learn about something they like sexually you didn't know about? You don't think that's fun? I mean, really, we got to get back to sitting back and understanding relationships are a beautiful thing, but it takes time and it takes emotional, it takes emotional devotion to each other and, and stop thinking that just because you're married, oh, I'm married, I'm married, I don't mean nothing. If you're married and your husband's in my inbox saying he's sexually depleted, frustrated sexually, that's not that's unacceptable like I said you guys have to do better understand wives husbands significant others partners everybody on this call I want y'all to check in check in with your mate today you ain't got to tell him I sent you but just check in with him say hey can I ask you something like are you are you good like are we cool I mean really are we are are you really happy to see me like are you glad we have our, our our sex when we do or do you want it more frequently and 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 be and be willing to hear the answer even if the answer isn't what you want to hear <clears throat> because that's something that can be changed or altered you can change it it's not like oh well he wants it 10 times a week and I only want it three times a week that's a lot that's a huge difference okay compromise I mean you know what I'm saying compromise come up be creative be creative on everything else be creative sexually maybe you don't want to have you know all the sex all week but at the end of the day why not up your ante why aren't you wanting it more often if you're not having a lot of sex you don't want it as often come see me I got I got herbal tinctures and all kinds of stuff I can hook y'all up with to increase your libido and I will be talking about libido on a video chat if you guys aren't a part of my wisdom focus group yet become a focus group member and you can be a part of my wisdom a, a, a part of my wisdom group and you can be a part of my centrally speaking video chat and I'm giving women and gifting women stuff that they need to know about increasing and improving their libido and if you don't have someone it doesn't matter you still have, you want to have a sex life in order to get that you got to be intentional we lay in life like oh uh, we sleep on our life man like we don't want that like we don't have anything to do with it 
you want something to improve that includes your love life your sex life your financial life your wellness and health you want all of those things to get better and be more improved you got to get you got to get intentional with it you got to start putting energy into it you got to start being devoted to it and when you do that guess what things start to look up right when we start to put intention on things start putting intention on if your mate is happy or not make sure your mate is really satisfied with the way you got things running you cannot assume in any relationship I say this all the time you cannot assume that your mate is happy the way things are because I should not be getting inboxes I'm a wisdom coach so I'm here as a good safe place for a man to fall but like I tell them you have to be intentional on trying to change that trying to make it better improving it just saying if you want to be a part of the wisdom focus group you can call me at 844-5-WISDOM extension zero or I will drop the link in here so you can be a part of the wisdom focus group if your libido is low and you're really not into wanting sex that often listen <laughs> it could be a hormonal thing and understand hormones with women it changes it fluctuates in our life we go through menopause we go through we have menstrual cycles so we go like this all the time with our hormonal changes however if you are under the age of 80 85 you should have a thriving sexual desire if you don't why not <laughs> you know what I'm saying you got to start getting back and tapping into your sexual energy there is a beauty in it there is something that you get and gain from having a thriving sex life and that is it will return you back to you and it will get you back to being creative get you back to learning how important it is that you are a woman <laughs> ladies please stop Please stop downing your and belittling your husbands or your men. Stop making them feel like they ain't nothing. Don't do that. And then you wonder why he wants someone else or why he's he's taking interest in other women. Because you're not you're not enhancing him. You're not you're not encouraging him. You're not giving him or gifting him encouragement or actually telling him, "Listen, I care about you. I'm excited about you. I love you." You're not giving him or gifting him that. So he's like, "Well, you know, I feel attractive, but I don't I don't really see it or don't really feel it from the woman I care about or for the woman I'm in a relationship with. Your your mate or your spouse or your boyfriend or whatever your beau, whatever you're in, should feel like he is at the top of the world just by being with you. And if he's not, why not? It's very easy, I'm telling you. Start flirting with your men. I'm telling you ladies, especially ladies that are spouses, wives, start flirting with your husbands, man. Your husband shouldn't be out here looking thirsty, thinking every other woman is a lot finer than you, better than you. Well, I wish I was with her. You don't want your man thinking he should be with her instead of you. What the hell? <laughs> don't make sense, man. I'm trying to gift y'all something. Listen to me. Because I'm a wisdom coach, I get some in-depth conversations from a lot of men. It's almost like, and I'm going to use a little humor, it's almost like I'm the little sister of a hundred thousand men. And I hear all the conversations. I hear all that the women are doing and not doing. I hear all the stuff that the women are, are they're in love and, and, and all of this, but then they're lacking in the sexual department. And so the husbands are sexually frustrated. You have got to check in. You cannot wait until your, your husband is having an affair. Or you cannot wait until another woman you find it on his, on his uh, phone, his cell phone. Or you're checking the phone bill, looking for the prices, and you see this odd number. And then you're hot, like, who is that? Okay, but when's the last time you checked in to see if your husband is being sexually gratified? Again, I'm telling you, ladies, do not sleep on this question. I don't care if you've been married for 10 days or 10 years or 13 years or 20 years, whatever. Check in because it's, it's important. And, and, then, and then not just to mention that, but also ask them, like, you know, what, how can we improve? You know, I don't understand why we, we seem to lose sight on how important it is to, to get a progress report from the husband or from the man we're with. 
And what I mean by progress report, you remember how your kids get progress reports in school, right? Well, how am I doing as 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 being your significant other? What I love about one of my one of my cool boys that I'm cool with, his name is Navi the poet, and that's my boy. If you don't know him, you need to get to know him and and make sure you send him a friend request. Him he and I have done a, a, a couple shows together. But anyway, what I love about what he said is, you know, me and my wife go together. I said, what? He said, me and my wife go together. And I got broke up a couple times for my wife because I wasn't doing what I should have been doing. I said, okay. So basically what he's saying in a nutshell is that his wife will be like, mm, you ain't doing it for me. Nope. I need something else. Or I, you know, we broke up because I ain't got that to do. You're not, you're not doing what I need you to do as far as in this relationship. And we need to check in. A lot of times we're not checking in because we think, ah, eh, I'm married, so I'm good. Not always. Not always. And make sure that you are making sure that when your husband or your significant other is in an intimate encounter with you, that you're present. Not thinking about other things or what you got to do tomorrow or oh I wish he was my ex or I can't think of anything that he ever likes and oh my god I have to do this again and you know be present be present in your intimate encounter because if you're not present in your intimate encounter he notices trust me I'm telling you men talk to me a lot they notice when you just oh I'm just gonna I'm just going to do this act for him because, you know, everybody else does or because he probably wants it or whatever. But I really don't feel like it, but I'll do it anyway. No. I mean, men want to know you find them beautiful. Men want to know you appreciate them. Men want to know you're there in the actual sexual act with them. Not just assuming, eh, you know, we do it all the time or whatever. So, no. Get present. Get back to understanding how important it is that your your sacred, intimate life should always consist of being present and having a beauty to it. And not to mention, I'm, I'm, I'm almost off of here. Please check in. Make sure that your lover is truly and honestly excited about you. Make sure that your lover is really engaged with how y'all are functioning. You don't want to wait till the last minute like, uh, I'll wait until, you know, somebody else takes interest. And then you want to come out with your claws and stuff and you want to fight women and you want to be on all in the inbox. You want to call their phone and you want to show up. Hey, Morris, you want to show up and show out because, oh, somebody else wants my man. Let me tell you something. You better always think somebody wants it. Always. I don't care if somebody wants them or not. You better always think. I don't care if you're in a marriage. I don't care if you're significant. You better always think somebody else wants your man. I'm telling you. Because as soon as you get egotistical and think nobody else wants them, somebody's going to show you they do. Trust me. You don't ever get so confident that you think that no other woman is going to want your mate. Am I clear? <laughs> I'm just telling you. Most of the time, we'll sit back and be like, eh. I got him, so I ain't got to do nothing. You think so? Let me tell you something, and I'm done with it. Halle Berry got cheated on. Beyonce got cheated on. Other beautiful women got cheated on. You thinking because you cute, you pretty, you got your own this, you got your own that, that your man isn't being pursued or being wanted, you are dead wrong. Women can get to the point where they're so egotistical that they think nobody else wants their man. And guess what? <laughs> your reality or your thought of thinking that you got it, got it made and ain't nobody else wanting them will show up in your whole dynamic that you got running perfectly well. And you're going to think to yourself, well, damn, I should have always make him priority. Always make him a priority. Make sure you are gifting him time, energy, care, engagement. I said, hey, go to my other live videos. I said, are you plugged in? Are you plugged into your mate? 
not just on sex, but are you plugged into what he's got going on in his in his crafts, what he's doing with his, you know, other things? Men are just not one dimensional. They got many dimensions. So what are you plugged into? The more you're plugged in, into that mate, the more you will find that the relationship will be fuller and more fulfilled. Just telling you. I love you, Mike. <laughs> I'm just telling you, man. You got to make sure you are plugged in. Make sure you are making sure your mate is plugged into you. You hear me? Because if that mate is not plugged into you, that leaves your outlet open for somebody else to plug in. And then what? Then you hot, right? You mad. You can't be mad. Never, ever think that nobody else wants your mate. Guys, too. You'll think, yeah, my wife's just a plain Jane, you know. She don't really get attention like that. Oh, but let me explain something to you. <laughs> Y'all gentlemen that think that they don't they don't they don't want these uh they don't want these uh what you see, plain Janes? You think you think guys out here don't want plain Janes? You are dead wrong. They like matter of fact, most gentlemen be like, I don't want all that makeup. I don't want you having all that makeup on your face. So you're thinking that your plain Jane at home isn't going to be desired. You're dead wrong. Always think someone else wants your mate. And when you do that too, anyway, you have an energy towards always making sure they're good. Because you know, you're know like, you like, hey, I don't know if somebody's at her or not. I don't know if somebody's at him or not. But at the end of the day, they're going to have to work hard to get him. Just saying. Don't get overly confident. Because some people out here, man, they just, they on the prowl, man. <laughs> on the prowl and don't have a man that's married or a woman that's married they are highly they are the high novelties those people that are married or attractive married attractive have a decent job and and or single and have a decent job or they're attractive and have a decent caring about themselves um they're novelties and they're out here i'm telling you people are on the pry i mean they're preying on them so you've got to be mindful. Okay, let me make sure that my mate is good. Let me make sure that my mate cares about me. And let me make sure I'm showing how important they are in my life. Trust me. It's very important. And again, you will see. Oh my God, I, I have somebody that really gives an air. And then it makes it hard for somebody to come in and try to be in their, in their space or in their, in their bedroom because you'll be there right just saying all right guys if you haven't signed up for my wisdom focus group yet i need y'all to get on it eight four four five wisdom extension zero or you or i will put the uh, link in here so you guys can be a part of my essentially speaking chat okay my essentially speaking chat is about sexual education about how important it is to keep your relationship vital to keep your relationship always flourishing don't sleep on it don't assume please don't assume that your mate is good always check in make sure hey april always make sure and check in it's very important make sure y'all share this okay um i'm out of here it's carla nicole I'm signing off that's kept have a good day <laughs>